Hello my dear children this is your computer teacher in computers chapter 2 that is windows movie maker was going on in this chapter we have completed the explanation part today we will start the question answers so let's get started the first question is what is the use of windows movie maker software answer is windows movie maker is a video editing software for windows based computers with windows movie maker we can create movies from our photos and videos whether they are already on our camera or still on our computer this software let us create movies by using special effects transitions and themes to make our movies stand out so i have already told you that windows movie maker is a software using which we can create the movies and apply transitions and special effects to make the movie very effective very impressive for the audience now the second question is differentiate between title and caption answer is title and caption are used to add text based information to the movie titles are added to the beginning of the selected clip while caption can be added as a text to an individual clip to provide relevant information means title we can add at the start point of the movie and captions can be added at any point at any will on the movie okay now the third question is write down the steps to insert any media file in your project answer is the steps to insert any media file in our project are as follows first is click on the add videos and photos button present on the home tab in the add group second is the add videos and photos dialog box will appear third step is choose pictures category from the libraries folder and select the sample pictures that you require the selected pictures will appear in the storyboard or the fourth step is select all images by using the shift key from sample pictures folder click on open and all images will be imported in windows movie maker five similarly we can import video clips to the storyboard with the help of same button and six and last step is all the imported images and videos are arranged in the storyboard pane as a film strip so these are the steps to export any media file on your movie Now the question number 4 is explain the importance of trim tool answer is we can reduce the duration of a video clip with the help of trim tool present in the editing group on the edit tab using the trim tool we can specify the start point and end point of a video clip and reduce its size according to our requirement तो क्या होता है ट्रिम टू इसको यूज करके हम लोग अपनी जो वीडियो क्लिप है उसका साइज छोटा कर सकते हैं उसको कहीं से काट सकते हैं काटने के लिए यूज होता है ये तो उसका यूज करके वी कैन रिड्यूस द साइज ऑफ द वीडियो क्लिप एंड वी कैन मेक इट अकॉर्डिंग टू अर रिक्वायरमेंट नाउ द क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव इज वॉट आर ट्रांजिशन इफेक्ट हाउ आर दे यूजफुल वाइल मेकिंग अ मूवी आंसर इज ट्रांजिशन आर अप्लाइड टू एड विजुअल इफेक्ट्स टू द मूवी they are used to add connectivity to the consecutive scenes of a movie transitions can be added between two images video clips or titles the effects range from simple fades to complicated graphical animations means transitions hamare aise effects hain jo visual effects ke liye use hote hain hamari movie mein kuch visual effects hum laga sakte hain using the transition effects and they are applied between the two images do pictures ke beech mein ya do video clips ke beech mein we use it and ye hamare kya karte hain connectivity laate hain unke beech mein and they can range from simple fades to complicated graphical animations simple bhi ho sakte hain and bahut acche graphical animations bhi ho sakte hain now the question number 6 is how can you export a movie answer is the steps to export a movie are as follows first step is click on the home tab and select the save movie button present on the share group second step is the save movie dialog box will appear specify the name of movie in the file name box click on the save button third is the movie maker processing bar will appear on the screen which will display the progress of export process and the fourth step is after the process is completed windows movie maker will display a dialog box click on play button the movie will play in the default media player of windows so these are the steps to export a movie now the question number 7 is differentiate between fade in and fade out effect answer is we can use fade in option to gradually increase the volume of audio in the beginning and fade out to gradually decrease the volume in the end so using the fade in option we can increase the volume of audio at start point at the beginning 
and using the fade out we can decrease the volume at the end point okay so children you have to learn and write these answers in your copy this much for today thank you bye bye